What an amazing looking card. I, I feel like maybe we just have to open the last one. <laughs> Oh, what is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I have some amazing looking One Piece cards to show you guys. If you guys aren't aware, there's a One Piece card game coming out from Bandai this summer in Japan and before the end of 2022 worldwide, and I am so hyped for it. I think it is going to be the best card game ever. In my regular pirate way, I've been gallivanting around on the internet and finding whatever One Piece cards I can get my hands on that look cool and augmenting my One Piece card collection because I love One Piece. I think the art is amazing and there have been some really weird card games that have existed over the years I found this one game. It's called one piece AR card ass formation and there wow. were four sets that came out It was a weird small obscure game that was made for phones There were three cards per pack and I don't know what the drop rates were or the rarities were But I do know that the rarest cards were called king rares and there were two king rares per set So there were eight king rares total and I've got managed to get my hands on I think about six of them one of them still isn't here, but it's it's a Bo Hancock card. I'm sorry she won't be in this, but if you guys want to see, maybe I might just do a Bo Hancock card collection display. Anyway, I don't want to waste more time. These cards look awesome. If you like seeing this stuff, consider hitting that subscription button. It really helps yeah. me out. But here are the One Piece AR card ass formation cards. And I may have something really cool at the end of the video to show as well. All right, so this is like a common. This is just a common card. The art on it is really cool. And this is just what a common looks like. They're also kind of like plastic um they're really flexible and this was the qr code you would scan to get the character in the game this is a luffy card on a bounty poster i think this art and design is super rad and this is like not a rare card at all this also is another common just shout out to bon clay bon clay is the mvp everybody knows it and this is just such an amazing shot i love what they do with the colors in the back and the look on his face they just really capture so much of the feeling in these cards and i love to look at them so this is an uncommon this uncommon has shattered glass you guys know how i feel about shattered glass but this blue and yellow in the background and just like the kanji on the card and luffy's look on his face just the art on it just looks amazing i think the way the fact that it's you don't need a lot of words on these cards i guess they put whatever words they need on the back but then it's basically just qr codes on the back it allowed them to do so much with the design of the art on the cards this one i think is awesome this is wow. also just uncommon but it has this kind of laser foiling thing i like this a lot more than shattered glass i think this kind of foiling looks really really cool there's so much cool stuff you can do with it with the way that you hold it i love this style of art also this is kind of like the art that's on the shikishi i think they're called shikishi boards i have a bunch of dragon ball of those but i know one piece makes them also you know they give they sell them in japan there's lots of you can buy like blind packs and out of them comes a little cardboard with some really cool art this is a rare so this is i think these are from the second set because it says uh number two so i'm imagining that's a second set these rares i have this nami that has this kind of gold foiling on her and i have this zoro card that also has a similar gold foiling on there so the, it looks like the rares have like some sort of gold stamp foil kind of thing happening on them as like this one it's not as much gold stamp but it's like a lighter gold stamp that's on here just kind of in the background because this is a rare also i think this is probably my favorite rare this bow hancock rare is pretty rad it's pretty boss she looks like a a real certified boss here on this card pretty pretty awesome look. this is still a rare but these are more like foil rares it looks like this one is from the first set also so first set foil looks pretty good just really fills up the card with amazing shiny beautiful colors and the composition is just super rad these two cards kind of go together these are both rares but this is this ace and luffy and the cards kind of go together and complete the art on each other so i think they might like work with each other also but i thought these looked so awesome they they came in a pair i really had to scour the internet to find these things at a reasonable price because they are jacked up on ebay and you got to go through a lot of hula hoops in japan to try and get these into your hands all right this card's crazy i don't know why this is also a rare but this is like 
five or seven hundred dollars on eBay I was able to find it much 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 cheaper than that on an obscure Japanese website that I bought it through but yeah this is a rare and for whatever reason it's like astronomically priced on eBay so I wouldn't recommend buying it there but if you hunt around on the internet enough you might be able to find a deal on one these are super rare so wow. I think the super rares have the foiling along with a gold stamp you can see this gold stamp here on the side and it's kind of foiled in the background so I'm pretty sure super rares have these two levels of foiling on them combined I think this ace card looks pretty rad this is also a super rare here you can see the same thing it has that gold foil stamp this is from the fourth set f4 formation four I have no idea what the game was like but these cards look super 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 awesome and then I don't know what rarity these are they just have a question mark down here it says secret mission on them so maybe this was like promotion or something or some kind of random rarity if you guys know anything about this game at all please leave it in the comment section so I'm very curious it was very hard to find information on it this is the other whatever secret mission whatever rarity I think it was like 2013 2014 somewhere around there all right so that's it for those rarities now here come the king rares they are all slabbed I slabbed all of them in my joku slab so um, i'm gonna start out with this crocodile <laughs> king rare the king rares are really cool here see i've made these put them in these slabs and just made them more fun to appreciate i really like how there's the frame and each frame has kind of like the jolly roger of each person that's on the king rare so this has and then there's like a different color foiling behind in the frame and their kanji i'm assuming that's their name in kanji but they just look super duper rad so that's crocodile and then there's a sanji one and the crocodile one was from the second set the sanji one is from the third set but you can see this like really cool iridescent kind of frame behind the character and then their Jolly Roger is up in the corner and I'm assuming same thing their name and kanji on there uh, the Zoro one I'm pretty sure this is from the same set as Sanji yeah these are both from the third formation so f03 formation 3 and same kind of thing that like cool iridescent space behind them in the frame and then their Jolly Rogers up here in the corner of the frame they look so amazingly excellent I think my slab label looks pretty rad with these as well i'm really liking the way these look and then of course we have el capitan sancho luffy and his jolly roger you all know so well i really like the look of his face in this he looks so serious like this is this looks like the look on his face when he puts his hat on nami and goes avenges the years of her being bullied by that nasty snaggle teeth fish man he just goes in there and bop bops him on the head this definitely is at a point after that because you can see what's on his chest but this was from the first set uh, and this says monkey d luffy in the corner down there but yeah this was the first set and the other king rare from the first set was Isu! So it was Ace and Luffy, and this Ace one is so rad. So rad. That fire, the way that the fire glows on his hand from that kind of iridescent foiling, and his Jolly Roger up here in the corner, and it just looks so dang good. So, yeah, the first set King Rares had this square in the corner that said their name with the card code. The other King Rares don't have that. So, that's it for the cards that I've acquired. I'm going to get some more, and I'll probably show you guys a couple more, but I was able to get my hand on three packs i oh, okay. found these on a website somewhere deep they were pretty pricey so i'm just gonna open one of these i'm probably gonna keep the rest sealed and i guess i'll just order open i guess i'll just open this one in the middle right here this is just gonna be an immediate blessing because it's just one pack but yeah i'm really psyched to open this one so the king rares in this one are usopp and i think rob lucio from cp9 Shrip them. This is exciting. I have no idea what these cards are like or what kind of rarities you get. Oh, all right. Here's a CP9 guy. So that's a common. I guess that's the first card you get. And another common, another CP9 character. And is this, how does this work? Ooh, whoa. SR Robin. Wow. That card is sick. Sick, what the heck and heck? Oh, snippity snap. That is a good looking card. Holy hexagon. All these cards also, they're old, so they've been around the block. I haven't seen one that looks so fresh. That looks really good. Wow, I should have got that. Oh my God though. That is a pretty, pretty piece of, these are plastic. I can't call it cardboard. 
Dang, I think we might have to open another one. All right, we'll see. Maybe every pack isn't as exciting as that, but um, yeah, let's go for shrippaming. One more, and I'll keep one sealed for the collectible purposes. So here we got Zoro. That is a cool looking Zoro card. Wow, that art is rad. Zoro no Zoro. And next there is Nami. Yo, that art is awesome as well. Very, very cool. And our last card, I guess, so I'm assuming this is like an uncommon or a rare or maybe a king rare possibly. Ooh. Wow. OR, what? This is a different kind of rarity. I haven't seen this rarity. Whoa, wow, this is sick actually. What the heck? Dang, look at all that different kind of reverse hollow foiling, like in the sword and the in his belt and jacket and background. So this is from the film, the film Z. But yeah, I haven't even seen this rarity. OR, is it OR or GR? Yeah, OR, OR. Wow. Yo, that is super sick. What the holy hexagon. Wow. What an amazing looking card. I, I feel like maybe we just have to open the last one. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm just opening the last one. These cards are too red. I, I need to know. I need to know what's inside of here. I need to know what's inside of strip them. I gotta, sh I gotta strip them all. Gotta strip them all. What do we have in here? Whoa, Sanji, looking like he's gonna kick down the door. Dang, I'm glad I'm opening these cards. Look, look awesome. Okay, we got a CP9 boy here, looking a little stiff. And our rare card is, oh, another Robin card. This is from the movie also, OR. Wow, these are so sick. Dang. One Piece film Z. I didn't watch any of the One Piece films, really, except for Stampede. And I'll probably see One Piece Red, I think, definitely. But these are super, super cool. Wow. What awesomely cool cards. Anyway, guys, that was a strip them. I'm really glad I strip them those. I hope you guys like checking out these cards. I think they're awesome. If you want to see a Boa Hancock card collection, I have a pretty extensive Boa collection that I would be happy to show you guys. Ooh. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you would be make sure to floss every day. It's really important, and the easiest way to do it is with a handled flosser. I recommend the Listerine Ultra Clean. I'm going to do a video on Instagram about it soon so you guys can see the technique about it. But go ahead and follow at dental.dmd to learn all my dental tooth tips. I do reels of dental tooth tips so you can educate yourself on how to best take care of your teeth so you don't have to spend a bunch of money on them and have a great smile and laugh and enjoy using your teeth for the rest of your life. I am Joku DMD. Thank you for coming by to check it out and I'll see you guys next time. Take this video for me. Joe, take the video because Steve's too busy to take the video. Steve's a little too busy doing TCG research to take my video. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how to pull a Vegeta out of a winner pack. This is the Vegeta winner. Joe's nodding his head because he knows. Joe knows. Joe's knows. And Joe's knows knows about it. He knows how to how to completely ruin a card out of one of these. Winner it's a special skill that you might have. And that's how you pull Vegeta. Am I nasty? Shit. Am I that nasty? nasty? Two weeks in a row. I called it two weeks in a row. I'm a sicko. I'm a, I'm a serious sicko. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>